this is G and welcome to G Casina. Kamusta po kayo? How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Today I am very excited to share to you my Biko recipe. Biko is a Filipino term for sweet rice cake and we usually serve this for dessert or mid-afternoon snack. It's perfect for coffee and tea. I really like my version of this and it's not too sweet and my mom loves this. So I'm happy to share this recipe with you. Let's get into it now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. The first thing that we need to do is cook our rice and I'm using about three cups of sweet rice or glutinous rice. Wash it and then drain the water. And I usually do this process twice. To cook our rice, let's mix in water and coconut milk. Stir and then add some pandan leaves. This gives it a nice aroma and flavor to it. And then set the rice cooker to cook mode. And make sure that you don't overcook the rice or otherwise it will get mushy. Let's make some latik. It's the dry coconut curd that we will use as toppings later. In a pan over medium heat, pour the coconut cream and stir constantly until you'll see some coconut curds forming and separating from the oil. Keep stirring until the curds or the latik have turned brown. And then you may use a strainer to separate the latik or the coconut curds from the oil. Set aside the coconut curds. We will use this for our toppings later on. And then you might also want to set aside some coconut oil, about 3 to 4 tablespoons. We will use this to grease our baking dish lined with banana leaves. The rice shouldn't be fully cooked or overcooked. It should have a consistency like this. And you may mix in the remaining coconut oil. Adding the coconut oil makes it last longer and taste better. In a large pan over medium heat, pour two and a half cups of coconut milk Stir and then let it simmer. Then combine one and a quarter cup of brown sugar and continue stirring. Add half a teaspoon of salt to balance the sweetness and then just mix it well together. Continue stirring until the coconut milk mixture thickens and when ready, just scoop and set aside about 3 4 cup of the syrup. We will use it later on and then add the cooked rice in the pan with the remaining syrup. Continue cooking while stirring until the rice absorbs the coconut milk mixture completely. Our biko is almost ready, but we will still need to bake it for a couple of minutes. So line your baking dish with banana leaves and then brush it off with the coconut oil that we have reserved a while ago. Mm -hmm. 
Transfer the biko or the sticky rice cake into the baking dish and spread out evenly. Pour the reserved coconut milk mixture or the syrup and spread evenly on top of the biko. Let's bake it in a preheated oven at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Look at this. It smells really good. It's hot and fresh rice cake. And then just let it cool down for a few minutes, then cut it into squares. And finally, for the last step, just top each square with the latik or the coconut cream curd. I love this dry coconut curds or latik. It enhances the flavor of this rice cake or this biko and gives it an extra coconutty taste to it. This delightful texture of the rice cake. Now it's ready to be served, shared, or enjoyed. This rice cake, or we call it biko, has a sticky and dense texture and delightful aroma. It tastes really good. You should definitely try this at home. So here is a slice of my biko, or this Filipino rice cake. It smells really good. And look at this. The, the coconut milk or coconut cream curd gives this biko like a more coconutty flavor. I really like it. It's, we call it latik and I really like latik on my biko. So let's give this a try now. Mmm. I really love the texture of it and it's not too sweet which I really like and my mom loves this recipe mm. it is so delicious you should give this a try and that's it for my Biko recipe I hope you like this video this is really good for dessert or you know any time of the day actually and I hope you get uh, you give this a try and thank you for watching I'll see you again soon in my next video bye